Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be talking about my raid experience. Now, you guys know that I already completed the raid. I actually completed it day one, which meant, which does mean I do have the emblem. Uh, not trying to flex, but kind of a little because, you know, shit was really hard. <laughs> but also, I will be doing these in different videos. So first and foremost, I'm only going to be talking about the actual main encounters. So the sparrow part in the beginning and the walkway in space, I will not be covering because honestly, they're really simple. If you want me to, I can. I will definitely make the the chess videos later when I do the raid again, because I didn't catch that those on footage, unfortunately. But I like I said, I will do those videos when I do them. But for these for these portions i'm just gonna make the encounters because i feel like each encounter needs to be explained by its own video especially the second one honestly i'm doing this because of the second encounter the second encounter is really the only reason why i even thought about splitting them up because the second encounter i really want to take my time and explain to you guys what to do because that one's really annoying but we're gonna be talking about the crypt security that's the that's the one we're gonna be talking about and thankfully this is probably one of the more simpler encounters although it's still gonna be quite annoying i'm not gonna like sugarcoat it to you guys so you're gonna spawn in or not spawn you're gonna come into this area and you're gonna see a white white side and a black side the black side spawns the scanner and the operator is already gonna be in the augmentation uh i'm gonna call it table i don't remember what it's called so the operator and the scanner job is basically red and yellow. Yellow is scanner, red is operator. The operator is able to shoot these data pads that are on walls. They're able to also open doors. The scanner is able to see which of the data pads the, the operator needs to shoot. So essentially, you're going to have three people on each side, um, black and white. The scanner will get the scanner and where these pillars are like they look like pillars of coolant i guess there's gonna be some little windows that you can see the data pads you have to see which one is actually colored yellow and from there you have to mark it so basically how me and my team were doing it we counted from the doors that can be opened all the way up to forward so i obviously i'm showing you guys right now in the video that's how we did it mostly because it was just more simpler and once i ended up getting the black side i went to um the operator opened the door for me and then i went to the white side to get the other data pads while the operator opened the door for me they also took that opportunity to open the door and then go downstairs which is where they're supposed to go to destroy all of the or not destroy but to shoot all of the data pads once all the data pads are shot the operator will will send his buff through the augmentation uh monitor thing and once that happens another a third person has to get that buff in order for the uh, the scanner to give the buff to the bottom person so basically the operator and the scanner switch out jobs because the scanner has to have the scanner job at the bottom so that he can tell the people upstairs which of these batteries to shoot so that's really it after you shoot the the batteries uh like obviously our team was going black left black right black middle you can do numbers if you want i just find those to be like ridiculously dumb like just left right middle that's simple after that your your scanner that's at the bottom will switch his buff out so that someone at the top can get the scanner again and then this is a portion where we didn't figure out because our we just ended up letting our person die downstairs or i'm pretty sure we had we like did it the right the correctly the first time but i just don't remember but at that point because the you can't the operator can't open the door downstairs there's no door to open the door to go back upstairs which is why we're like we don't know what to do and if you have an operator like if you have the person that gets the operator buff upstairs to open the door downstairs then they can't open the door so maybe the uh, the new operator will open the door so the person can come out and then stay there while the operator opens the door on the other side it's honestly that's the only portion that i really don't understand 
because you yeah i just unfortunately i just didn't understand that part but honestly i would probably just say that like because so i should probably explain why we should take the operator out if you guys don't know at the bottom the floor will start being on fire and who, who's ever downstairs will die Again, this I've I've not seen anyone else's guides. I've this is literally me remembering like what we did, and we completed it. We did it in two phases. You probably don't even need two phases because it's not contest modifier, so you probably could do even more damage, if that even worked. But that's really it, honestly. After you complete the first uh, DPS check with the crypt security, and then it's just reset. It's literally start all over the person who will scan her the first time calling the call outs do that again and then whatever you did to get the operator downstairs out either just letting him die or if you figure it out let me know in the comments below but after that the operator will go downstairs again switch out the buffs and then the scanner downstairs calls out whatever so just to reiterate the person downstairs will have the operator buff and then switch out to get the scanner buff. The scan, the first scanner that has the scanner buff upstairs will only have the scanner buff and there's going to be a, a operator on the top, a third person that will just pick it up just to pick it up because uh, the scanner and the operator need to switch out buffs. That's really it. So don't don't make it more complicated than it really is. And that's really it. This one was a really simple one. We figured this one out pretty, pretty fast, like maybe an hour or something. And it was a lot of fun. It was a, it was a lot of fun. I really did like this uh, encounter. It's probably not my favorite. My favorite is definitely the third encounter. I'll explain why in that video. But it, obviously, the my the, the one I hate is the second encounter. I think the Senate or the th yeah the second encounter. The second encounter is just like so weird it was oddly like difficult but like in a weird way like everything else was like oh this was cool okay i figured it out and then the second encounter was just like fuck like we know what to do but it's so fucking hard it was like more just it was like mechanically dense and like also the small dps check i'll explain all of this in the next videos but that's pretty much it if you want to know my honest opinion about the encounter this one specifically is uh it was a good encounter. I think uh, for like to start off, it was it was a good palette, like not cleanser, but like to start off. I think the third encounter is a good pat pat or yeah, the third encounter is a good palette cleanser because after the second one, the third one was like such a such a treat. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, if you have any cu questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. But that's really it. There's nothing else too crazy to really say. At least if unless i'm forgetting something but yeah that's this one's just really simple like i really hope i don't have to like explain it again because it was super simple so be safe guys you know what's happening in the world and i will see you guys later